It was fun just trying out the GoPro tail mount board that Ian Balding made me. It's the first time I used it in a long time and uh, yeah, excited to look at the footage. Are you dry? Yeah, I'm just well, I was walking, I was just looking behind my house. It's like, dude, it's crazy looking. Dude, I just saw a video from Windover Waves. It looks so deep. Bumper deep on pickup trucks in Salvo, it says. It's not gonna go down, dude. It's gonna keep blowing so hard. I mean, maybe there'll be a window down here, but it looks like you're stuck. I mean, I'd, I'd be surprised if the water went down enough for you to get through. <laughs> Oh gosh. Alright. Yeah. I'll catch you later. I'll I'll keep you posted right. if something happens. Alright. Right, yeah, See ya. See ya. Wow, swells. Looking like a bus now. One, because it's not as big as it looked like it was gonna be. This was the forecast was like one of the crazier looking south swells I've seen here in a while. Two, it's now flooding everywhere from Avon to Oregon Inlet. So Jeffrey's stuck in Rodanthe. I can't get to Rodanthe where it's cleaner and he can't get here, he might not get clean enough for Buxton. Hopefully the wind lays down, the flooding stops, and the waves turn on. So I'm gonna make a plan, get some breakfast, and we'll see. Well guys, here a few hours later after I'd shot all the you know wind and stuff on the sound there, the wind is finally turning more west, but it's only about chest to head high at biggest. And when I say that the swell is underwhelming, it's because it's like 15 feet on the buoy. It's just not getting in here. You know, even if it was firing, Jeffrey O'Neill stuck in Rodanthe. I can't get to him, he can't get to me. Uh, I'm just gonna take my GoPro out, surf with my friend Brandon, suit up, go get some exercise. We at least found a spot that's barreling, now that's cleaning up. Everywhere else is kind of mushy, which is unfortunately so. Yeah, it's nothing special, but hopefully I can make one. My goal is, right now my goal is just to get like a pretty GoPro frame grab. And if I make the tube, that'll be sick. But uh, yeah, sun's going down, we got minimal time. So I'm gonna change, see you in the water.
a good wave. Yeah. The turnout was just gnarly. Like we were. Oh, yeah. There. Taking out the tail mount board. Kind of shut down, but there's a nice peak right there. Morning, y'all. Well, we're down here on the South Beach at Patters Island. The wind is north this morning, and with a little bit of leftover south swell in the water, we got some stomach to chest high, maybe shoulder high sets, some right and left barrels. Looks like a pretty fun little session. Now, Jeffrey's not here. We weren't really expecting anything because the wind was supposed to be west this morning and we knew bucks would be small so he actually went home to Virginia and this little surprise session on the South Beach caught us off guard. But, gonna get creative. Gonna take my Ian Balding custom uh, tail mount board for the GoPro out and try and get some, you know, interesting shots. I haven't got to use it in like almost a year. So, I'm gonna see if I can get a right tube and uh, yeah, maybe I'll put the GoPro in my mouth just get super teched out. but. Waves look fun. My son has a basketball game here in a couple hours, so I'm just gonna get a quick like one hour session and then go see his game. Anyway, let's hit the water. I'm gonna change, got the board mounted up. Oh, look at these sets. Looking fun. Let's go enjoy this beautiful morning. Well, the tide got a little too low there, but uh, felt good to get in the water, get some exercise, get surfing, start the day off. But now, the waves are, are pretty closed out with the tide going out. It's real shallow, doubled up. Oh, that was a nug. There's definitely still some good waves though. Uh, if, uh, if it wasn't for Mason's game, I'd keep surfing. But I've missed a couple of his games this month because of waves, and today is not good enough for that, so. Gonna go watch him play some ball. Nope, not coffee tonight. Tea, tea that actually my friend made. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, yeah, so I know, I'm a coffee guy. I will drink tea when it can help with my immunity and I've been feeling kinda on and off, maybe getting sick, 
So I've been drinking this tea that my friend Abby Forrest makes. Her company's called Making Waves Tea and it's really good. She sells it here on the island and uh, yeah, I've just been trying to do everything I can. Like my wife does all this stuff to keep us healthy through the winter from drinking tea that's good for you to elderberry syrup that she makes to vitamins and apple cider vinegar. That stuff's gnarly, but it does work. Anyway, trying to stay healthy. So back to the swell and the waves. That was a wild weather event. I mean, to have flooding like that in the winter time for Avon and Rodanthe and stuff was a super big bummer. Uh, it wasn't at a level where it was like getting in people's homes or anything like that. It was more just an inconvenience. But luckily, you know, by that evening, I think around 5.30 PM, the water went down and you know, back to normal. That's just kind of life around here. But I'm just stoked that the wind did lay down enough to go surf. And actually when I came in and looked, it was blowing 35 to 40 when we were surfing. That walk up the first time was so miserable. The sand was blasting off the dune and that, you saw me holding my board up to hide from it. Brandon and I came in the second time we had drifted even further because that current was next level. No matter how hard you paddled, you were going backwards down the beach. So we drifted over a half mile or three quarters of a mile or something. When we were walking back up, that car that pulled up was my friend Jason Forrest, Abby's husband actually and he was coming back from real water sports. And so he, he, we put our boards in his car and he drove them up to our truck so we could run without having to basically carry a giant wing in the wind. It was wild and it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, but I had a lot of fun, snuck two barrels that were like super square and really pretty. So I was stoked. And then honestly, was not expecting to surf at all the next day. And so Jeffrey was gone and I woke up and the South Beach had waves. And you know, I'm kind of stoked that Jeffrey was gone because I got creative. I had the GoPro in my mouth for a few waves and I used the pole mount on the board, which I hadn't used in almost a year. And honestly, there's so many days similar to the other one that I, I don't use it because I don't think it's big enough. And I was wrong. The only bummer was I need to figure out the screw system. The screws I have, the heads are so thin, it was popping through on like the heavier waves that I fell on. And even actually one wave I made it and they popped through. And so that was kind of a bummer but all I had to do was come in and swap out some new screws and paddle back out. But uh, I, I think I need to get something with like a thicker head. Uh, the benefit is it's not tearing the board up when that happens and that's why Ian designed it that way. And then I made it in time to my son's basketball game which I was stoked on because I've missed quite a few because there just keeps being weekend swells and all his games are on Saturdays. Super rad to see him excited about something aside from surfing. But speaking of surfing, we did actually get in the water yesterday. Last night, my wife and I took the kids down to the South Beach on a South Swell, the water gets warm. And so we were able to take the kids, they have their little four, three epic suits from O'Neill and some boots and pushed them in on the soft tops. They caught some waves and they had a blast. Malia just played in the shore break after she caught a few waves. And uh, my wife took photos of them and it was a beautiful evening. We just hung out and enjoyed it. And my son was so stoked to get back in the water. He hadn't surfed since Hawaii, so. That was special. I actually got some gloves and a hood on the way so that hopefully he can get in the water more before springtime. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. It's been a fun few days here at home. Even though it wasn't the swell I thought it would be, getting that surprise session in Frisco and getting a couple waves the night before was still a lot of fun. And I love making the most out of whatever, you know, swell we get here and we get a lot of it. And so there's tons of opportunity and yeah, it just has been good. I was stuck to get my kids in the water and spend some time with the family and now, I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope you all have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And you know the deal. See y'all next week.